All right, let's get back to Lonnie and this weather tomorrow. We have issues coming our way. Yeah, I think the morning commute can be problematic for some of you out there, especially north of New York City. So here's our picture looking out over Manhattan. And you know what? There's still not much rain in New York City. 74 degrees, but it's all about where the rain is. And look at this. In New York City, you have a tenth of an inch of rain or less. All right, these are Doppler estimated totals. I think the, the exact reading is 0 .05, but a tenth of an inch or less in Central Park. You're about an inch and a half in portions of northeastern New Jersey. Then you get up to look at this to this 2.2 reading right at the intersection of 84 and 684 in Putnam County. That's been our biggest number so far. You get out to the Connecticut Rhode Island border, four inches of rain, and of course Providence, 5.5 inches of rain. How is this all going to be playing out? Well, the areas north of the city will be where I believe we're going to end up finding the biggest rainfall totals and you really want to focus on where the yellows are uh, there's a little band here north of Sullivan County a little band here losing a lot of energy you can zoom in tight right around Sparta and and Newton New Jersey again the yellow shows you just a moderate rain event that's taking place so nothing crazy but it's still putting more rain into the rain bucket the biggest rain as I showed you earlier right here around 684 stretching over to Danbury it's now made its way inland uh, to Greenwich Connecticut uh, pushing up into Litchfield County as well that's the heaviest cell that we have right now but the story is this this front which is stalled right now off to our west as long as it's in our vicinity we continue to have a rain chance and it's not like it's gonna run out of rain sometimes you hear about a storm well it rained itself out Okay, not the case here because this has a never ending supply of moisture in the Gulf of Mexico. This front is pulling that in like a vacuum cleaner and really distributing it all the way up into northern New England. So we've got the moisture and then. We have a stalled system that's not going to get out of here too quickly because of that storm, which is Tropical Storm Earl, that storm, Hurricane Danielle. They're not interacting directly with this system, but they are definitely exerting pressure and not allowing it to just fly right through. So what happens? We've got rain out there right now. Again, it's really north of New York City. Don't pay as much attention to the yellow, uh, to the greens and the light greens. Focus more on the yellows and the oranges, all right? We have spots out there that have some heavier rain. This is right now. This is what it looks like at 630 in the morning, right during the morning commute. It's a tough drive out there, especially north, probably off to the east as well, and then down to the south of New York City. As you go through the morning commute to about 10 a.m., you've gotten to where you've got to be. Well, the rain's not over yet. Hopefully, you've taken it nice and slowly and anticipate it could be some problems out there, right? By 5 o'clock, things are calming down, but we're not done yet because this low pressure system right there is going to get offshore, and once it gets offshore, circulates air like this. It's actually pushing a few showers back into our area even on Wednesday. So here's how I see it all coming together. For tonight, 68, steady rain. Rain fills in, pushes a little farther to the south, becomes heavier after midnight. For your day tomorrow, 73. Rain steadiest in the morning. It's much cooler, right? Because the winds will have shifted to the east once that low pressure starts to take over. The extended forecast shows you the red shading for tomorrow. It is a first alert weather day because of the concern about there being some flooding out there. 72 Wednesday, still a risk for some wet weather to continue, but it would be much lighter. Thursday looks good at 78. You're back to good weather. Friday looks good. Saturday looks good at 85. Sunday, it's hot and muggy at 84. And there is a chance for a storm to be sparked with that combination. Guys, that's the seven day right now. All I want people to know, to know is there's a chance that your commute is affected tomorrow, so plan accordingly. We will. Thank you, Lonnie.